Um, yeah, so my name is Kiara Eileen Machado, and uh, a lot of, or pretty much all my work is heavily influenced by identity and culture. So that with being me, with me being Central American, specifically Guatemala and El Salvador, and then descendant of Honduras, but um, I am, I didn't grow up with the culture, but I just do want to acknowledge it because it's not that far um, behind. Um, and, and then also a lot of the influence is also because I've always been based in Southern California, that like geography and specifically I have a perspective or the Central American experience from like Southern California, which I know like would change for Central American folks, you know, located in different parts of the nation and how that um, affects them. So that's what I'm really interested in and how like geography connection to community or access to like community and culture um, and these complexities of like identity itself is a huge part of uh, my identity and that it like translates into my work as well. <laughs> now, uh, I, had, um, I had seen it, I think maybe um, through social media uh, a little bit and then um, Marbea had reached out to do a studio visit and then based off that studio visit um, she, you know we had a great conversation and she did like more in-depth of you know the history of self-help graphics and then um, and then she invited me to do the Los Americans um, and that's where you know I was really able to experience um, self-help graphics and you know everybody was awesome dude was amazing <laughs> So it was really good. So for my uh, prints, I wanted to, the there's a figure like centered and she's sitting on a dirt floor as a land acknowledgement, but she's sitting also like within a, a room but the room is covered, like mostly completely covered by foliage and all the botanical and leaves are the thing that's like breaking up the clean walls. And my whole intention with that is also, I feel like this is maybe more so specific to the US and, you know, having to tick a box of what you are or, you know, counting, you know, with like the consensus, but it's also, again, going back to identity and how difficult it is, you know, with like, Sometimes you can only do, I feel now maybe you can tick like more boxes, like if you do have intersecting um, identities. But there's like a time where I remember where I was applying to my undergrad and I couldn't choose like both Guatemala and El Salvador. And it was the hardest thing um, to choose either or. It was just like such a weird um, psychology. And I, I don't know, it was just like a really interesting experience. So with that also, you know, um, and then also how like folks, you know, over time, how identity, you know, or language changes specifically, you know, like the wretched word of Hispanic. And then now we have um, Latinx and then also, you know, how narrow Latinx is or how, you know, certain folks are viewed more as Latinx or how toxic Latinidad is. Um, so that was my whole idea of like uh, putting the figure within um, these walls um, but still kind of breaking through with like the botanicals and also thinking, you know, about like how plants, um, plant life goes hand in hand too with, you know, reconnecting either with culture and also, um, you know, native plants to like this land. Um, so that was my whole intention with like trying to criticize um, how we're boxed in and how a constant awareness or trying to critique ourselves as well. So I feel like with a lot of the plants that I use, which is obviously very much like tropical um, fauna is a way of connecting to Central America and also to Southern California. Also, you know, knowing that the palm tree isn't native to Los Angeles, but like also thinking about how, you know, migrants, like my parents migrated here, but you know how uh, migrant folks are definitely like the ones who have, who add uh, depth or, you know, culture. Um, to here, but we're like the last ones to be thought of as um, integral to this nation, right? In a very 
on the op like opposing end. Um, so yeah, I love to use like those types of plants to connect back to Central America and also specifically to Southern California. It's very much like a nurturing for me or like like a little hug <laughs> that I like to, <laughs> to connect and include in my, uh, that I wanted to include in my uh, paint, in my screen print. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was my first time screen printing ever. Yeah. So I was kind of nervous, but again, like Dewey was amazing in like the whole process and also allowing, um, thankfully, like, because I was, I don't know, like conscious of like time or not wanting to waste material because I'm like, oh, it's expensive, you know? So, but it was uh, very nice to have that space of, especially with colors, you know, like how, like if it was opaque or, you know, if I wanted it a little more transparent to have that um, room to kind of test things out and experiment. Um, so that was really cool because the only um, other experiences with screen printing was very minimal and on shirts, like super minimal, like, you know, so it was a very cherished experience to be able to have like my first to be able to do my first experience with y'all and like with the guidance again of Dewey it was really um amazing yeah yeah so it was my first one yeah I didn't have to rethink the like composition itself but more so I think with like the colors of wanting, you know, a specific color, or I think like, because of the way that I work with my oil paintings, like I rework and rework like paintings. And I know that, you know, we had a limit of certain layers and we went, I think it was like from seven and we did like 10 or 11, I think. Um, and then more so, I think like challenges was more so like my brain was not understanding that like, I think like the black parts or like the blacked out parts was like where the color was going. And I was like thinking like opposite and I was like Dewey no this is and he was like no this is it I was like it's just not I'm not getting it <laughs> so that kind of took me a while to like I to switch over and then after that that was like really easy so I was like oh my gosh this is much easier um so I think it was just that like just like tapping into the process a little bit um that was just like the most challenging that I just was not getting it um but aside from that yeah I feel like it was just that that I was having a little trouble with. Um, I think more so just because uh, it was just like a through and through such a positive experience. I think because especially uh, even pre-pandemic, I've been working from home. So I already had like, and then going into the pandemic, I already had like even more so limited like social interaction or like, you know, um, so it was just nice to like get out, like, you know, go somewhere. And then, um, and again, just like the environment of like being able to, you know, talk with Dewey and we have like, you know, talking about books and, you know, so it was a really good um, way to like get out and be creative in another and tap into um, screen printing again, just like for being the first time, um, just really positive and just really like cherish it. Um, forever. <laughs>